Hello, hello! Welcome to Province Town. The bells just chimed six o'clock, and who's out there? I don't know who's out there, but welcome to Theatre in a Box. And tonight we have a special guest through this window, and it's the full harvest moon. And soon we're going to open and see how the beautiful sky is going to look. I'm so happy to be here in Province Town. Here's an old tune. By the light, not the dark, but the light of the silvery moon. Not the sun, but the moon. I sit and spoon, not a fork, but a spoon. To my honey, a cruel love's tune. Honeymoon, not now, but soon. Keep on shining till June, not May, but June. Your silvery beams will bring love's dreams cuddling soon in the silvery moon. It's a silvery moon. Yes. Oh, it is so lovely. Sharon. Well, there's so much going on already. It's a flutter here in, in Provincetown, and I'm going to take this theatre in a box away. Who's there? Who's there? I need my glasses. Oh, there's plenty of you out there. Let's see who's there. There's David Mayoko is driving back from work. Hello, gorgeous David. And um, who else do we have? We have 
Joanne Corsano, we have Al Fryer, we have Kelly, Neil Green is there, and Edie is there, huge love to you, Christopher, thank you so much, Mary King, Mary and Margaret, oh thanks for everything, Katie Lamble is tuning in from England, uh, Baz is there, I love you, we've augmented the lights a little bit, and Moon, yes Moon, it's a wild, you know, we're all a bunch of lunatics, aren't we? And it's okay. Lunatics, you know, it's we need to be a little bit crazy right now to deal with what's going on. Jim Keen is there. Hello. And Lydia in Mexico. Jim's from P-Town and Monica and Kate in Woodstock. Well, it's just lovely to have you all here, Kate. I mean, Monica, well, and Kate. Monica, you found some chicken of the woods. I'm very impressed. We have some too. Marion Wood. Marion and Susan in Texas. Well, I think we better get on with the show, don't you? Because uh, it's time to open the window. So, Rick Girl, do you see what's going on? Yes, there's all things going on. Madeline Pris. Madeline's there! Yes! But you know, look, I'm going to open the window. There's a heart because we love you out there. Let's Open this window. This is Provincetown, everyone. You know, hello, neighbours. Are the neighbours listening? We have our neighbours maybe listening over the fence. Who knows? I'll calm down now. It's the harvest moon. Usually this full moon is known by more than one name, depending if it takes place in September or October. Typically, the harvest moon shares time with the corn moon and the hunter's moon. But it's different this year in 2020. September the 2nd was the corn moon. Tonight is the harvest moon. It's going to be gorgeous. And October the 31st is the hunter's moon. Now, uh, you know, the harvest moon, it, the first one since uh, 1974. Oh, the cigarette girl is doing things. Thank you. There we go. So much going on here. Anyway, this is a micro moon. Do you know what a micro moon is? It's 90% of its, its, its farthest away from Earth. Usually the super moon is the opposite of a, of a harvest moon. Anyway, I've been Googling, haven't I? But let's get on with one of the most beautiful, beautiful moon songs. And, and I need someone to help me on this one because she is beautiful. Give it up for Roxanne. Hi, Rex. Moon River, wider than a mile I'm crossing you in style someday Oh dream maker, you heartbreaker Wherever you're going, I'm going your way To drifters off to see the world there's such a lot of world to see We're after the same Rainbows and Waiting round the bend My huckleberry friend Moon River and me Such a lot of world to see We're after the same Rainbows and Waiting round the bend My huckleberry friends Moon River
We started on a quiet one, didn't we? Moon River. Oh, she's gone. My huckleberry friend's gone. You know why it's called a harvest moon? Because it's light. It's going to stay light for a long time. And, and well, that's when they pulled in the harvest. I mean, it's late this year. Often it's in September, as I tried to explain before. But uh, yeah, that's when people would bring in the harvest. There's so many different moons. There's the January, the wolf moon, February, the snow moon. March, the worm moon, because there's wormies around. April, the pink moon, that's my birthday month. May, the flower moon, when things start to blossom. The strawberry moon is in June, when we fill ourselves with strawberries and the sky reflects them. The buck moon, when the buck shed their antlers, that's July. Um, August, the sturgeon moon, September, right now it's the harvest or the full corn moon, but really it's October, we're on the cusp. October, the hunter's moon. November, the beaver moon. I won't say anything about that. And December, the cold moon. These are the Native American moons. All over the world, there are different names for moons. And uh, who's mooning me right now? Stop mooning, stop mooning. Calm down, everybody. I want to say hello. Ah, she's writing it like the old days again. Please share this. Please share this. We need more people and tell all your friends. Madeline Cordero's there. Chris and Nigel in the UK. Marion and Susan in Texas. Gary and Joyce. Natalie, my old pal in England. Hello, Rule Britannia. Britannia. And there is Swood. Kate and Monica in Woodstock. I love that she writes this. But I am saying hello to B.A. and Kate Wolf because B.A. you had a little problem this week and uh, I know it's because you're drinking and you had a little accident but it's okay we're on the uh, we're on the tea Keela too so B.A. it'll be okay it's the moon the moon makes us do these things and you know I mentioned lunatic of course I have fascinating things for you a lunatic is an antiquated term referring to a person who's seen as mentally ill dangerous foolish or crazy conditions once attributed to lunacy the word derives from lun lunaticus meaning moon or moonstruck loony luna we're going through it right now all sorts of things these different moons but my huckleberry friend roxanne left but i have more huckleberry friends in the garden and uh, i would like to welcome one who's going to come and join me he's been an old friend for a long time he's here all year round because covid brings our friends back to provincetown or the pandemic i should say and uh, give it up for brandon cordero hello my darling I'm doing well, all things considered. Happy You're to be quiet. here with you. I'm going to switch you up. Oh, you might put my volume up? Yeah, I'm going to put your volume It's all right. You know, these are the things we got we to gotta put the volume up yeah. so you at home can be a part of it. But when he starts singing, he'll be louder. But you, <laughs> you're shy, aren't you, through the window? <laughs> but you know, Brandon, I've always believed in you. And that's I the truth. You. I believe in you. Can you swear a little bit for this? Say it's only a paper moon Sailing over a cardboard sea Yeah But it wouldn't be make-believe If you believed in me Well, it's only a canvas sky Hanging over that muslin tree Oh, yeah But it wouldn't be make-believe If you believed in me Honky tonk parade without your love. It's a melody played in a penny arcade. It's a Barnum and Bailey world, just as phony as it can be. Oh, but it wouldn't be make believe if you believed in me. <laughs> Oh, 
Give it up. Oh, Roxanne, yeah. Roxanne, where are you? Come on. Did you see the paper moons out there? Where are the paper moons going? It's a melody played in a penny arcade. Oh, yeah. It's a Barnum and Bailey world, just as phony as it can be. But it wouldn't be make believe if you believe <laughs> in me. <laughs> Would you believe in me? Oh, yes, Brandon. I believe in you. I believe in you. I do. Come here, come here, come here. Brandon has been like in all sorts of films and been performing and acting and now of course he's writing at the moment but he was in Across the Pond which was a musical I it was amazing it was amazing it was one of the best experiences we had together I know and now and now here he is through the window what else have you been up to uh, I've been super busy enjoying learning more about my family's history here in Provincetown wow. that's been a big focus of mine lately because he is born and bred in Provincetown that's right I smell like lobster and I'm poor Portuguese. There we go. <laughs> Give it up for Brandon. I'll be back. Do you love him? So uh, I hope you enjoyed that. We have all the different locals um, appearing through this window, and uh, you know what? You know, this one actually goes. This is one of mine. This is uh, inspired. You know, we see the moon in all different ways. And you can see it as a large orange in the sky. You can see it as a fiery ball. You can see it as a harvest moon, a strawberry moon. How do I see it when it's not, you know, fully full? I sometimes see it as a banana. Or a freshly clipped toenail. But that's not very romantic. But there's someone out there who's very romantic and her name is Swood. And this is for you. She's got all my albums. This was on Small is Tremendous. Hope you enjoy it. Banana moon on a blackbird, a blackbird sky. Oh, won't you let me hold you tenderly? To the gentle tune of a cricket's knee and spoon until the seven sisters sigh. Cause I feel like, I feel just a little like Fred Astaire. Oh, won't you dance with me a little while? Under that banana smile, make me richer than the richest millionaire. It's like diamonds, it's like dandelions, it's like late night lullabies and baby elephant eyes. It's like ice cream and like hummingbirds, it's like all the favorite things that Julie Andrews sings. Banana. you tenderly to the gentle tune of a cricket's knee and spoon until the seven sisters sigh.
like late night lullabies and baby elephant sighs. It's like ice cream and like hummingbirds. It's like all the favorite things Julie Andrews sings. Banana. Knee and spoon until those seven sisters spoon until the seven sisters spoon until the seven sisters sigh. thank you Roxanne and I can hear a cricket's knee out there did you know the crickets have little violins on their knees and they bow them and that's the sound you hear and the seven sisters are sighing that's Pleiades that's Pleiades up there and uh, you know there's uh, all sorts of things to keep us busy Siggy um, <clears throat> during the pandemic and um, <clears throat> because a lot of people seem to uh, <clears throat> Well, of course, we're having a very, very hard time. Who's there? Hang on. Oh, sweet. So romantic. Absolutely. Katie Lamble. Great, Roxanne. Thanks for all your comments. Please keep commenting. I'm singing from Seattle. Kate, we miss you here. And Betty Ann, we miss you so much. It's just past Wolf Timber. That's an actual month here. That's when the wolves usually arrive. But someone else is going to tell you about you know, what to keep yourself busy with during the pandemic. Yes, Buzz, it's your favorite moment of the show. We have reached pandemic pastimes. Hello. Yes, we have the cigarette girl here and she's going to tell us some fascinating things. Um, what do you have on your Well, last week it was yogurt. Tray. And I told you all about the miracles of having your own cooking thermometer. Ooh. This can be used also, to make cheese. Cheese, you make cheese. Mozzarella. <gasps> Look what she made. Mozzarella. mozzarella. Some call it mozzarella, mozzarella. This Depending is cheese where you're club. From. Let's see your mozzarella. <laughs> Did you know the moon is made of cheese, by the way? The moon is made of cheese. That's why we have this section. Some people think you're a lunatic if you think the moon's made of cheese, but people have gone there and they've tasted it and it's very nice. It's Swiss because it has craters and holes. But this is mozzarella. I would like to sh look how beautiful her mozzarella is. <laughs> and her yogurt's lovely too. What else do you have, Cigarette Girl, to keep you busy? Because she was holding a nice plastic container. What? This is her 45 record collection when she was how old? Seven or eight years old. I would carry this box down to my girlfriend's house on, on the end of the block and we would spin our seven inches and do our dance. And that's so exciting. You can get the dust off your old records or if you're new, young and you have record collection, keep on playing the records. You know I love records. And I found some special ones for our moon show, Up, Up and Away by The Fifth Dimension, Top of the World by The Carpenters, The Spirit in the Sky, oh. a personal favorite by Excellent. Norman Greenbaum. I love him. His one a huge hit favorite record ever. And Good Morning Starshine by Oliver. So grab your nice little plastic boxes and go to your girlfriend or boyfriend's house and you can play your records and it's too. And a great little purse. Where's Give it the other record. Oh, I forgot. Look, she even owns this. The first man on the moon. Here men from the planet Earth set foot upon the moon, July 1969 A.D. Show the back too. We came in peace for all mankind. Apollo 11, the first Apollo flight. 11. It's probably really valuable, that. Be careful of that. Can we have a round of applause for the cigarette girl and her 45 record collection? Thank you. Now, uh, did you see that there was an accordionist outside? I would like to introduce you to her. Terry. Can you come? This is Terry. She plays on the street. She plays gigs. She's played gigs with me. She's a, amazing. She's like a gypsy. A gy she travels around playing. And apparently there are gypsies on the moon sometime. Would you perhaps play us 
some gypsy music. Tell us, tell us what this is. This is a song called The Old Gypsy. And it's actually um, it's from me. Yiddish Theater. Yiddish so. Theater, well, come on. Please, can we have some accordion? That's Terry Conti, yes, the neighbors, Chris and Christy. Oh, they are clapping. That is really, 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 really good. Um, I wish I could have jammed. I was like, I, I don't know what she's doing. It was stunning. It's getting darker. I think soon the stars will be coming out, and soon the moon will be rising. And uh, I think we should take you on a galactical mission now. And this is an old song from 1979. Uh, Brandon, will you come and help me? Because Brandon doesn't only do uh, uh, singing. I'm going to turn you down a little bit for this. He also does beatbox. Give me a little sound, will you? You know, just a little bit of... How was that? That was flavor. pretty impressive, wasn't it? <laughs> Thank you. All right. Let's see if I can pull this one up. This is a police song. I know you can. Um. Giant steps are what you take. Walking on the moon I hope my legs don't break Walking on the moon We could walk forever Walking on the moon We could live together Walking on, walking on the moon the ground walking on the moon oh my god a few day hard let's make a sound a walking on walking on the moon i think we're on the moon some may say i'm wishing my days away I pay some say to 
tomorrow's another day You stay, may as well stay oh. Give it up for Brandon Where's the astronaut? I think we need some more moonwalking This is a moonwalking solo There's a problem with the moon. She flew away, flew away, flew away, flew away, flew away, flew away, flew away. Oh, that's why. Cause giant steps are what you take. Walking on the moon. I hope my legs don't break. Walking on the moon. We can walk forever. Walking on the moon. <laughs> the moon rose, the moon rose, the astronaut flew off into space. What an amazing... <laughs> Lamb Chop, what are you doing on the moon? Lamb Chop. Oh, all over, I flew in on my spaceship. <laughs> you came in a spaceship? Yes. Wow, that's really impressive. Lamb Chop, you're flying all around. You're so daring. Fly a little higher, Lamb Chop. Oh, thank oh, you. Of course. Well, I've, I've always loved sheep thrill. You really low down. You've got to fly up a little with Lamb Chop because there, Lamb Chop's floating. Floating. What did you say you loved? I love sheep thrills. Oh, oh, I think you did. But why, Lamb Chop? Why have you decided to come to the moon? Oh. Everybody's flocking here right now. They what? I well, I watched the presidential debate. Oh. It was a complete sheep show. It was a sheep show. I just had to get over. Oh, I don't blame you. We're all flocking to the moon. Well, I'm gonna get a ticket now to the moon. <sighs> well, well, yes, I mean they certainly ran the point home. They did ram the point home. <clears throat> well. All I'm saying is be careful out there. Be careful in this galaxy. You're very brave, Lamb Chop. Be careful. Oh, don't worry. I'm an expert in my field. Oh, of <laughs> course you are. Well, Lamb Chop, let's give everyone, Lamb Chop, a big round of applause and thank you. You certainly are one in a million, Lamb Chop. Thank you so much for uh, <clears throat> flying by the intergalactic window, I guess. I guess I'm in a spaceship now, and so are you. Oh, Kate loves the accordion. Natalie in England. Oh, I miss my old school pal. We have got so many British there. You like the klezmer music, Joanne. Oh my gosh, isn't she? Fran Stone. Oh, hi in South Florida. Toots is out there. Yeah, can you believe I attempted to do a police song? Um, astronaut, yeah. She liked the astronaut out outfit. She was wearing a jetpack, I'll have you know. Christopher's there. Elizabeth Friedrich. Melinda Asman Crusting. Oh, what can I say? Thank you so much. And you know, of course, I've been Googling things about, um, you know, the space program and everything. And I think that Lamb Chop may be the first sheep ever in space. I'm not sure. But, uh, <clears throat> you know, the first, first U.S. men on the moon, well, the first men on the moon, uh, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin, Apollo 11, that's July the 21st, 1969. Apparently, Roxanne was a little girl and she saw it. She was there in Florida. She watched the takeoff. She's, this is why she's like she is now. She just, but we'll ask her about that. The first woman, though, in space, was a Soviet, Valentina Tereshkova, 
on June the 16th, 1963. It took NASA a while to open up the space program in the States to female applicants, but in 1978, in response to the new anti-discrimination laws of the time, Sally Ride became the first female US astronaut to go into space. The press asked her questions about her reproductive organs and whether she would cry if things went wrong on the job. No, she actually did a fabulous job, like a woman would do if she was president. But anyway, <clears throat> I continue. Mae Jemison became the first woman of color in space in 1992. But I just want to go back to uh, Ride, Sally Ride, because after her death, her obituary revealed that her partner of 27 years was Tam O'Shaughnessy. She was a lesbian. Their relationship was revealed by the company and confirmed by her sister, who said she chose to keep her personal life private. Well, and she kept her cancer that took her away in the end private. But anyway, salut, I say, to uh, Sally Ride, first woman, first US woman in space first LGBT person that we know of in space. <clears throat> so, you know, of course, there's a lot about the moon. Oh, there's a B-52 song called Moon in the Sky, called The Moon. And Kate Pearson is out there from the B-52s. Kate, thank you for telling me that, maybe Next moon show, I will attempt to do that because we're all mooning over you. And we're mooning over Monica and uh, I'm mooning all over you. You know, it's a very, very special magic night. And uh, the moon is female, it is. You know, some languages call it female, some male. I mean, I say it's cheese. But there's a song from Mame that deals with the man in the moon and uh, it was written in uh, what was it written 1966 by Jerry Herman let's have it B. Arthur did it the man in the moon is a lady a lady in lipstick and curls the cow that jumped over cried jumping Jehovah I think it's just one of the girls She winks at the stars from her bed of green cheese That isn't a nightgown It's a satin, saturn chemise Her friends are the stars and the planets She sends the Big Dipper a kiss So don't ever offend her Remember her gender the man in the moon is a mess. The man in the moon is a mess. Oh, and look. Here she is. Here she is. Hello. It's the lady in the Hi. moon. Hello, Hello, lady. The lady is here, and I'm Hi. very excited to see the lady. It's so great to be here. Can you tell us a little bit about that? First time you were we were there in Cape Canaveral watching yes. the uh, the uh, Apollo Eleven oh. take off when you were a little girl. Why yes? Uh, can you hear me? You got to switch it. Yes. Then. Hello, hello. Yes, I was six years old and um, went with my father. We hitchhiked up to Titusville and we saw uh, what looked well. We had to be across the bay, like a cigarette butt taking off, but. The whole ground shook, and then I got to see it land on TV, and at six years old, it blew my mind. Wow. Especially when they, say the, they said, the eagle has landed. The eagle has landed, and you have landed. You are here because I am a big fan of the lady. Look, like Daria del Sur let me her phases of the moon fan, because I'm getting a bit hot. It's a time of my life when occasionally I get a little bit hot, but anyway... I'm so glad that the lady is here because she's going to sing a beautiful old song. The moon completes 12 full cycles of its phases in about 354 days, which is 11 days short of the calendar year. By the way, the word month 
comes from moon. Every two and a half years or so, the difference adds up to an extra 13th full moon occurring during the year. And this relative, I don't know why I'm speaking like this. <clears throat> and this relatively rare occurrence is sometimes referred to as a blue moon. So lady, sing it for us. Blue moon, you saw me standing alone Without a dream in my heart Without a love of my own Blue moon, you knew just what I was there for You heard me sing a prayer for Someone I really could care for and then there suddenly appeared before me The only one my arms will ever hold I heard somebody whisper, please adore me And when I looked, the moon had turned to gold Oh, blue moon, now I'm no longer alone Without a dream in my heart Without a love of my own Oh, beautiful. Can we have a little solo? The moon had turned to gold Oh, blue moon I'm no longer alone Without a dream in my heart Without a love of my own Without a love of my own Give it up for the lady. Thank you so much. Did you like the lady? The blue moon lady is wonderful, Swoon says, Swood, Swoon, Swood says, wow, well we're near the end of the show, I hope you're having, it's getting dark, but we've got light, thanks to Buzz, um, but it's still moonlighty out there, which I rather like, and um, <clears throat> you know, I am hearing those crickets, and I, the weather's changing, the reason it's a moon, a blue moon, it's because because we're nearest the, I don't know, something equinox. I've looked, I've read so many things about moons, my head's spinning, but all I know, this is a red leaf. Isn't that beautiful? Here's another red leaf. I have a box of leaves I collected. Look at this. They're turning a little yellow leaf. So many lovely. Come here, Brandon, will you? I just will throw these at you now because, yes, don't we love Brandon? And I love to do this song with him because it's a beautiful song from 1945. And uh, I love to do this with you. It was originally written in French. Winter song, and I miss 
Cette chanson qui nous ressemble, toi qui m'aimais, moi qui t'aimais, nous vivions tous les deux ensemble, toi qui Ce qui s'aime, tout de ce monde, sans faire du bruit, et la mer est pas sur le sable, les pas des amants des yeux. C'est une chanson Drift by my window Nous nous ressemblons The autumn leaves Of red and gold I see your lips The summer kisses The summer lands That I used to hold C'est pas ce qui s'aime Tout de ces mots Sans faire du bruit Et la mer rêve à ce sang Ma sable Quand les hommes Les hommes Brandon, that was beautiful. The leaves, they, the tree must have just, <clears throat> my goodness, he does need a toga. <laughs> Monica, we should have thrown mushrooms at him. He'd look very good in a toga. Have you ever worn a toga? I'm not even going to ask. <clears throat> Judith Nichols, merci beaucoup, merci beaucoup. I love that song, Les Feuilles d'Automne, or I don't know what it is called, but uh, it makes me think of Alona. Alona, my dear friend who's 100, I've performed that with her for years, and she just, she does a beautiful version, a beautiful version, and, and so does Brandon. Well, we have two more for you. We're at the end of the show now. Aim for the moon, everyone. If you miss, you may hit a star. Hang in there through all this craziness. Shoot for the moon. You might get there. That's what Buzz Aldrin said. And he did. Don't worry if you're making waves just by being yourself. The moon does it all the time. Scott Stabile said that. Full moon is a good fisherman. All eyes are easily caught in his net. Mehemet Murat Idian said that. And Albert Einstein said, I like to think that the moon is there even if I am not looking at it. You know, there's magic things everywhere around. Even though we're not looking at them, they're around us. I'm sending magic to you now. You're going to be safe and fine. That's why I do this show. Please keep spreading the word. We're going to do about five more after this, and then we'll take a little break, and then we'll do a holiday special. But we have all sorts. We have Next week, we have Best of British Isles coming up. We have a Women's Week special called Suffragette City. We have uh, Around the World in 60 Minutes. We have a Halloween spooky spooky show and we have a celebration after the election a celebration hear it after the election we're gonna be dancing just gotta do our work now i'm 
gonna dance now. Anyone feel like dancing? Cause, cause it's a marvelous night for a moon dance. Where the stars up above in the eyes. A fantabulous night to make romance. Neath the cover of October skies. And all the leaves on the trees are falling. To the sound of the breezes that blow. I'm trying to please the calling. Of your heart strings that play soft and low And all the night's magic Seems to whisper and hush And all the soft moonlight Seems to shine in your blush Can I just have one more moon dance with you, my love? So if you care to give a little something to PayPal or Venmo, be lovely. But most of all, just share. I want everyone to... I feel connected to you, Corliss Breck. I do feel... Ah, oh, recorder and piano riff, amazing. Kate Pierce and you are rocking my world. Gail Cohen is there. Hi, Chris Buck is still there from England. And it's late there. Swood, we are in heaven. Well, I'm in heaven now. It's dark. But we can see, thanks to Buzz... Stay strong. Keep keep listening to the crickets. Keep hearing the beauty in life. There's still a lot of beauty out there. Just remember that. Here. I can even show you the panic keys. Gonna go on. It cuts off my head. Never mind. Well we're at the end. Enjoy the harvest moon, everyone. And um I think I'm gonna go to bed reading this book. Look, I got it from the Provincetown Library. Um, Betty Ann, get better. To all of you, I'm going to read this. Good night, stars. Good night, air. Good night, noises everywhere. And now it's time for just one more tune. 
Good night, audience. Good night, moon. You could all sway on this one. Enjoy the moon. Make sure after this show, okay, you go out and look at the moon. That's what's going to help everyone. And this goes out to Kate and Betty Ann because this is Kate's song in the bootleggers. Everybody come behind the window. Shine on, shine on harvest moon. Up in the sky, I ain't had no love since January, February, June or July. Snow time, ain't no time to stray. Stones and spoons, so shine on, shine on harvest moon for me and my girl. Come here, come on. Oh, yeah. of the British Isles. Stay strong, stay safe. It's going to be okay. <laughs>